What's not to love about working at a school district? And you're doing something that you can be proud of and will last for a long time. Finances are always a challenge. As we've seen the state budget go up and down, it comes down to the classroom pretty quick. I've been in Temecula and watched the procession of uh, budget cuts over the years and I feel as though when I, I was a young principal and when money was very available, we had a rich program. We had a, a computer teacher or a music teacher or an art teacher, um, a whole variety of extra resources were available and they all went away. After uh, salaries and benefits, utilities are the next largest expense. We started looking at solar a couple of years ago. We had got proposals from a number of different firms. We ended up with seven proposals, uh, evaluated those, ended up interviewing three firms, and eventually selected Solar City. I think they chose Solar City because of our experience, our track record. We, we have a, a, just an, a, an enormous amount of resources to draw upon. Engineering, design, interconnection, structured finance, we pretty much do everything in-house. I was concerned about schedule because they did a lot of work in a very short period of time. In nine weeks, we put up close to 50 steel solar carport structures and over 20,000 panels. 18 schools. Uh, done over the summer, which was pretty amazing. The design, uh, the construction, everything uh, was through Solar City. This was no upfront cost to the school project, and if they had to come up with the capital to pay for this out of pocket, this would have been over $20 million project for them. Instead, this is a PPA. We're doing what's called a power purchase agreement. The Solar City actually owns all the systems, but we pay for the electricity. We're buying the electricity at a reduced rate. The batteries are kind of a new development in the solar industry. When we get an electric bill as a commercial entity, we've got the amount of kilowatt hours we use and also demand charges. And it can be, you know, 50, 60 percent of our bill is composed of those demand charges. So what the batteries will do is they will charge during the time that we are generating more electricity than we're actually using. And then at a time when our energy demand is going up, the batteries will kick in and flatten that demand. Helping them to, to save money on the energy bills for the next 20 years is, is, is like a really important mission. Anything that we can do to increase the amount of revenue that's available um, to our schools is a fabulous idea. With rising utility costs, we wouldn't have to cut programs that might otherwise have to be cut in order to pay for utilities. When you're looking at funding, funding goes first to core curriculum. And unfortunately, that meant many budget cuts came from music and art. And so then your class sizes can go up, your material resources go down. Just the whole combination turns more kids away, makes them feel as if it's not accessible. And a lot of these kids have artistic and creative abilities that then never get showcased. I think solar is the new normal. I think a lot of people don't have any idea of how affordable and easy we've made it for uh, people to entertain the option of going solar. This is happening now and it's, it's a great deal. Save money and, and help change the world. I think it makes a statement that we not only care about our current kids now, but also the future of our, our kids as they grow and the future kids that will be coming through our, our district.